Alright guys, we got some Legacy 90 Day Fiancé videos here and apparently they are unintentionally funny, so let's have a look. Hey. What? Where are you going? I'm going to get my wallet. Bring me my red back with my makeup! Can I have a key? Yes, you can have a key. That seems to be a pretty unreasonable reaction, doesn't it? All he needs to do is go back to his apartment for his wallet. I don't understand why she has that little respect for him. Probably because he doesn't respect himself, obviously. I do remember this vaguely. I think it was her name's Antifa and the other guy, he had a weed farm or something. I think he ended up going to jail. I guess this just goes to show no matter how much money you have, you can't buy attraction and respect. Chick absolutely loathes him and she even said that the only reason she's with him is because of his money. Literally, the respect level is zero. Makes good entertainment and TV for us, though. <laughs> The real Lisa is coming to Nigeria soon. All right. She is from America. Uh -huh. Let me just show you her picture. Oh, this is the old bird, isn't it? <laughs> is this the old bird? <laughs> I hope he hasn't told this poor woman that he's a prince. That's a really bad stereotype, I know. Moving on. <laughs> oh, his <What>? friend. <laughs> so you are okay with this? So this is oh, um, that's mouthwash. so shallow. They don't approve of how and ugly I she is, poor cute lady. Toothbrush. This your breath is not um pretty. Oh my gosh, that's a double whammy right there. Because not only is he telling his woman that her breath stinks, and I mean, look, I guess in some way, shape, or form, you have to be honest with your partner if it's really that bad. If you you don't love whatever, but the way he spoke to her. Like she was subservient in kind of like the broken English there. Dreadful. And come on, have a look here. Annie is kind of cute. Ed's a freaking Oompa Loompa man. Check yourself, bro. <laughs> You're not I exactly an all painting yourself. Life. The first time I saw Nico, I saw that she's pretty and, you know, and cute. Okay, I'm really happy that finally. Oh my yeah. gosh. When I see all, all her, I mean, all her body, I was surprised that, that she's big a little bit. But hang on, you said you loved her, and then all of a sudden you said she's... So did she catfish you or something? I feel like I'm missing some of the story here. By the way, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. You like what you like. My mother's taking me to the airport. She's feeling extremely emotional about me leaving. Uh-huh. This is a dog. Boy. Oh, no. She actually just uh, snuck out and gave me a little bit of her hair from her comb to take with her. What the hell? It means a lot. Um, that's actually something. It's, it's, it's her hair. Well, I mean, I think we see the problem here straight away, right? This is why he needs a mail-order bride. I mean, who knows what else goes on in that family if he needs his mum's hair for good luck. I mean, I've heard of, like, the most mama's boys to end all mama's boys before. I think this takes first place here. That is freaking bizarre, bro. Okay, well, she's just caught me a bitch. You just caught me a bitch. Yes. You are a whore, and you will not disrespect me like this today. Good night. You know, I don't mind if I ever date anybody that has a little bit of a mouth on them and all that, but you have to be able to trust them to uh, act with a level of decorum, I guess, if you're taking them home to mum and dad. And uh, if I married up one of these ladies, I definitely don't think I could take them home. So, yes, therefore, I don't think they make a very good catch, quite frankly. Ass bitch, ass slut, ass whore. You may kiss your bride. I'm not allowed to kiss in this uh, time. Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole. Wait a minute. So why are you not allowed to kiss? Is it for religious reasons? Or is it because your lady's still got the cock block on you? Why is he not allowed it? That's fishy. Physically, I'm attracted to Nicole, but it's not like, just like, for example, 55%. <laughs> Gosh, I shouldn't laugh. Look at that poor girl. She put it on, you know, brave face, trying her best to know celeb. You can just tell in the inside, her heart is just shattered into a thousand pieces. Ladies want to feel like they're desired by their man. And that's just the... Oh, dude, man. I shouldn't laugh. That's going to be a big knock to this poor lady's self-esteem. Dude, do her a favor and leave her aid. That's horrendous. Hey, late. So you got a foot fetish. So, um... How do you say kiss in Tagalog? Halik. Halik. Yeah. Okay. May I halik you? Ew. 
she was totally in the moment. You were massaging her feet. She was smiling, enjoying it. That would have been your pass to kiss her feet and, and continue the intimacy that you guys were having. And then immediately, by just who you are, Ed, and the way you asked the question, you went from being a cute husband all the way to being someone that should be on the registry in a matter of about three seconds. Congratulations, bro. You just completely blew it. <laughs> you don't love me. You never did, you liar. Get out of my life. Short and sweet. No. Don't like magic. Uh, what do they say for welcome? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidos. Tiene la carta a los otros si tú quieres. Yo no la voy a ver. I want you to uh, write down the card. I'm gonna have to light it on fire. Siete de diamond. Sí lo viste. El siete de brillos. De la ceniza salió. You know what? Everyone in the family here looks bored, and I feel sorry for him. I think doing magic acts is very well intentioned, but if you're gonna do anything, it's all about the level of confidence. It's it's the difference maker between what you're trying to project is expressed on the public, you know what I mean? And so, yeah, he just doesn't seem very sure of himself, and therefore, this family doesn't seem to want to buy into the act, unfortunately, it just is what it is. That's so awkward. Black magic. That's cool. Bro! Look, you know what? There are exceptions to the rule. I guess we do need our personal space sometimes, but if you girl's trying to sneak in a little hug and a little kiss and you just reject her like that, brah. Seriously, just do her a favor and leave her, man. She, she, you know what? She's a bigger girl and everything. I get it. But her confidence level was probably at least probably at a seven or an eight before you came along. By the time you're done, it's going to be a three. It's terrible. Hey, sorry, bitch. Sorry. Come on, come on. You know of me, ho. Come on, come on. The sorry, take sorry, your sorry. ugly ass back outside. You ugly ass bitch. You ninja turtle penguin Batman ass bitch. When I get out of bed, the first thing I do is look in the mirror and I always say, "You're a specimen." Yes. <laughs> I think positive self-talk is a wonderful thing. I'm not going to lie. I've done it before, too. I've never used the term, I am a specimen. Maybe I should make that a part of my morning routine from now on. I can't wait to get out of here. It's just crazy. It's like that some kind of prayer meeting or something. It looks pretty cool. This kind of looks like one of those prayer meetings or something. Oh I'm not God. sure if it is or not, but you know, it's kind of when people really feel like they're feeling the spirit. You know what I'm saying? That's what it seems like to me. It might not be. I didn't see the episode. God, I love you so much. What? I love you more. I am for you all my life for you. Oh, look at this. I have a lengthy criminal record. I've been uh -huh. in jail. I've been in prison uh -huh. for uh, numerous things. Uh. You know what? I have to. I have to be honest. At least he's open about it on the get go. Put all your cards on the table, mate. She either wants to buy it or she doesn't. I mean, good for you. I'm sorry. Okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh. I don't think, I mean, look, I think being honest is really important, but putting everything on the table is probably not necessary, depending what it is. You know, if you're a kid, for example, and you're arrested and maybe in jail for a few days for like some breaking or enters when you're young and a delinquent or whatever, and it's not going to affect your ability to get a job or raise a family or something, you probably don't need to disclose that information because it probably doesn't serve a purpose. If you've been arrested for, I don't know, violence or domestic assault or something, then yeah, you probably should mention that. Uh, I guess there is some nuance. I mean, I don't think being to jail is a deal breaker. I mean, especially if it's not going to, uh, I suppose, interfere with your future prospects. I guess it just depends. What do you guys think? Sério? Like some kind of action. You know, you know, I'm 
it's kind oh. of strange that you know we haven't slept together yet, and we're about to get married. Look, some people want to wait until marriage, definitely, especially in more old-fashioned societies. But come on, let's be honest, it is 2024. Nine times out of ten, someone who makes you wait in 2024 is probably not that into you. You may be the exception to the rule, but most likely you are probably not, I'm sorry to say. We've known each other now for a year and a half and yeah. been in love for more than a year. And we've been talking about it for a while now. Yeah. So. Yeah, nah, dude. You've been together a year and a half and she doesn't want to fuck you. She's not into you, bro. Look, look, see? You can just see from the look in her face. She is not attracted to this guy whatsoever. This is all about convenience. If she was attracted to him and genuinely did just want to wait, she would be able to look at him in the eye and with a very, very lovingly glance, if I do say so myself. I think we need to wait with sex. This guy is We're bouncing off the wall. Hey. How do you feel about him getting the hookup? We've been married for six oh, months. Oh, look at that! And it feels good. I'm actually really, really surprised they ever kissed that passionately because, as I said, this Antifa chick or whatever her name is has, like, 0% for this guy. And, uh, hey, I mean, she's good at faking it when it suits her. I'll give her that. I hate being married to George. I'd like to give you this. There you go. <sighs> what I'd like to offer you is the key to my house. Boy! If you, if you look at your grandmother, grandfather, the men knew what they had to do. They went out, they worked, they, bring them, they brought the money. The woman went home. Like... Yeah, I mean, I've got nothing against the nuclear family, actually, to be honest. It was a wonderful time, an easier time, but the economy was also a lot different. Um, I guess especially if you're coming to a Western country like Australia, Canada, the USA, and uh, the UK or whatever, it's not as easy to do that anymore, you know. And unfortunately, a lot of boomers don't realize this, actually. They think we can, like, uh, survive off one wage still. They don't realize how tough it actually is out there, but I digress. It's a nice idea. Lady stays home, looks after the house. Guy goes out there, makes the money, raise a family, white picket fence, everybody's happy. But a uh, little thing called inflation going on, if you didn't notice. Moving on. If I get them all down in one ball, I get a kiss. Oh. Oh. Right. Oh, did you see his groveling? That was pathetic. Did you ever watch Happy Gilmore with Virginia Bennett? Where Happy Gilmore was like, if I get this in, you have to uh, give me a big smoochy kiss and pretend to like it. But then if I miss, you never have to talk to me again. Virginia Bennett was genuinely attracted to Happy Gilmore. So she was like, hey, Happy, I didn't see it, miss. And then they smooched. She really, really, really liked you. She would have kissed you anyway. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, okay. Hope water. I am coming back. No. Hey. Dude. No one that is close in your circle should ever talk to you like that. And if someone on the street spoke to you like that, they should be expecting a big punch in the nose. Leave her. Where's my flowers? You look great. What? Oh, what she's flowers? eye maintenance. No flowers, honey. I'm sorry. Bro, you just have to set the boundaries straight away and be like, hey, you know what? I didn't feel like sending flowers today. Own it. The moment you apologize, dude, game over. She's going to walk all over you. I would really like to invite you to my hotel tonight. Bruh. Yeah, yeah, that's right. your mommy. Yeah, yeah. That's a weird proposition. Hi. Uh-huh. Oh. Are you marrying your best oh, friend? Oh, uh, who's marrying my dad? Oh, uh, marrying her dad, I mean. Oh. Oh, there we go. That was a really interesting video, guys. I love these legacy 90 Day Fiancés. I might have to do a newer one in the future, guys. But thank you for watching. We're going to see you on the next video.